Okay, so every now and then I get asked about my desktop setup and as it's about to change soon, I figured I'd run through it and run through what sort of setup I run on my Pi. Uh, and the reason it's gonna change is we're having a rear extension on the house. Work starts probably next week. And so it's gonna be a bit of a disruption for me because I'm used to having this desk at the back of my lounge and it's always accessible to me. And obviously it's gonna be noisy, so I'm gonna to have to pick the times when I make my videos, but I'll work around it. So I edit on an iPad Pro and uh, I airdrop any content I record on my phone to this device. But if I do any screen capturing, I would use this Ava Media device. So if I press record now, you can see it goes from blue to red. When it's red flashing, it's recording. I would plug my microphone into here so it's capturing my speech. But I generally have a three and a half mil jack and I'll show the speaker it's plugged to in a minute. Uh, because if the audio is going to that speaker, then I can monitor the audio in the room. What sometimes happens on something like a Pi 400 where you can't have separate audio, uh, you have to try and remember to turn the volume down on the Pi 400, otherwise any music or any gameplay or anything like that, it's just too loud. Sometimes I've done it and it's too late, but I generally try and avoid that. So if I pause that, I can pop my iPad down and then just grab the little micro SD card out of the back of here pop it into this SD card adapter and then pop it into my iPad in the USB-C socket. It's much better now I've got USB-C. Before this I had uh, lightning devices and they're much slower. USB-C actually transfers really quick. So what I would do is go into the files app. There you go. So tap on SD card, tap on video and then pick whatever video you've got. So if I did select and then share, I can then save that video onto the iPad and you can see it's pretty much instant. Go back into LumaFusion and it will show up here as soon as the video is there and I can just drag it into my content in amongst all the airdropped content from my phone. So super, super simple to do that. So at this desk, most of the time I'm using this Pi 4, uh, which is an eight gig model with a low profile ice tower cooler I really like these uh, USB adapters, which I've actually got. It's a USB-C to USB-C cable, which is plugged into an official Raspberry Pi adapter, which you can see at the back there, uh, one in from the right. And uh, that, that's just super reliable, works really well for me. It also can be unplugged and plugged into various different devices. I've got a micro HDMI to full-size HDMI adapter. So basically, I'll unplug this and plug it into a Caddis board or a Mekatronics board or whatever other board I'm looking at at the time, but I can plug it straight back into my Pi all the time because it's got that short cable which just stays in the Pi. I always use Ethernet as my connectivity. Uh, I mean, occasionally I'll play around with Wi-Fi, but generally, because I do so many operating systems, I'll use Ethernet. Uh, I use this very short USB to SATA cable. I've played around with lots of SATA cables and found two or three which work really well. Lots of them aren't that compatible with the Pi. And at the moment I've got a Kingdian drive in there and that's because I was playing around a lot with the Pi 400 with this SSD case, which I really like. But the only reason I don't use that, not because it's four gig instead of eight gig, but because it doesn't have a headphone jack, it doesn't work well for me recording my videos. Now the fan at the bottom is not being used as a fan. It's just there for the LED lights and I plug that into the GPIO pins. So the red and black is to do with the fan underneath, but just the LED lights. And the other red, black and blue are the PWM controls. So when this gets to a certain temperature, it will cut in, but it very rarely happens. I have cut a slot out of here in the past to be able to get more accessibility with the cables because I'm always unplugging and plugging in cables and it just makes it more handy. Now I used to use one of these, which is an SD card slot that goes into the back of the Pi uh, that gives you an SD card slot at the front. And I really like that for convenience, but Every now and then it wouldn't work for me. And so the more reliable thing to have is the actual SD card slot on the back of the Pi. Uh, it's just for reliability, but I did, well, I used this for ages and really did like it, but every now and then it wouldn't work. And it was just a pain when it didn't work. And so I've switched back. If I plug in another SD drive, then there's plenty of space underneath. Uh, and I'll just use uh, like the CSL cable or the Ugreen cable, or another one of the ones that works well with the Pi. But I'll always plug it into the USB 2 socket because if you plug in two USB 3 drives, they sap too much power and you'll often get errors come up on the screen or crashes and things like that. So USB 2 is fast enough for writing most of the operating systems on a Pi. 
Uh, I might change to my Mac if I was writing a huge operating system, but generally I will download operating systems, test them out, write them and everything using this Pi 4 8 gig. I try and use it as much as I can and I do use it a lot. Not sure if I mentioned it before, but the reason I moved the fan to the bottom of the case, it was on the back of the case before, is just to be able to get access to that SD card slot. Uh, and everything is very accessible on this Pi. It's all at hand. And as I say, I can slot in various different drives, even single board computers into this case if I want to, just to keep it a bit tidier on my desk. I do like cases like this NVMe drive, which is faster than my SSD drive, but it doesn't make enough difference for, me, for it to bother me. And uh, I just, I prefer this sort of setup for being able to plug things in, and especially with SSD drives, I can keep it all in one space. And definitely KDE Plasma is my operating system of choice on the Pi. It just works incredibly well. It's fast, the video performance is good. Uh, things like folder management, all of that, it's very, very logical to use. You know, if I wanted to launch PyKiss, then I can just start typing it and it comes up straight away. Just everything about it is so, so good. And it's become very familiar to me now. So when I'm using it, everything's in the right place, everything launches nice and fast. I think that it, it makes the Pi much, much nicer to use. And if you haven't tried it, it is available for downloads. Uh, I based it on Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit for compatibility, but I use KDE Plasma as the graphical user interface just because it looks lovely, but it's also got loads of lovely, easy features for searching. Uh, all the file manager is excellent. Uh, it works really well with my NAS drive uh, for unzipping things, for torrents, all that sort of stuff works brilliantly. The plug sockets at the back here are all switchable. So I've got three three pin plug or AC plug, plug sockets. On the left hand side, I've got two USB-A connections which can power my devices. So my Ava Media Capture device is actually powered by that USB socket and I've got a spare USB socket there if I need it. The next one is my monitor. The next one is my Pi 4 official adapter which goes into a USB-C coupler which then joins the USB-C to C cable with the uh, little digital readout to show me how many watts the Pi is using and it's always refreshingly low so it's a very, very cheap device to use. The white plug at the end is the dangerous one. That's a 12 volt USB-C adapter without PD support which is uh, what I use with my Melee Mini PC which happens to be 12 volt and uh, it's fine in that but I have written 12 volt on it. I've got a separate video on that. So beware of USB-C adapters that aren't PD compliant. They can break your Pi. Um, this Melee PC, I generally run Windows 11 on it. And the reason I do that is because occasionally I just need Windows 11 for certain things. So things like updating my VR. I use it with my 3D printer because the 3D printer software is officially supported by that. And actually it works really well for creating images for the 3D printer. I don't 3D print a lot, but when I do, it's super easy on Windows 11. I have used Octoprint on a Pi and I did really like it, but I just don't 3D print enough, to, uh, I don't think, to justify it. Uh, so on my desk, you can see I've got this box of tricks, which has got various different things underneath, uh, fans and all sorts of things. Uh, I also have all the ribbon cables and SD card adapters, USB sound card, thermal paste. Uh, I've got various different USB sticks. I've got my Samsung bars. This is what I use for a lot of my retro gaming. This has got a load of my favorite ROMs on it and I put it in, it's very low power and it works with all the devices, RetroPie, Lacquer, Recallbox, Batacera, all of those. And obviously this is uh, a box of most of the dongles that I commonly use and it is really, really handy. Things like USB-C to micro adapter is brilliant and also a USB-C to C coupler, which is in there somewhere, which is a really, really good device, uh, really, really handy. There it is, that's the sort of device I use to join a USB-C cable so I can get that power readout on it. But yeah, this box, I can't remember, I, got it. I think I got it in B&M, it's just a cheap sewing box. And it's really, really handy because I'm using that all the time. This SD card adapter was sent to me by a subscriber. It's 3D printed, it's got three layers and holds loads of SD cards, which is brilliant for me because I've got so many. I've got a Bose speaker, uh, which is, uh, I use it generally on the 3.5mm audio jack, but it can be used with Bluetooth for various different devices as well. I also have easy access to 
the HDMI cable here if I'm testing things out. So that HDMI cable and also this HDMI cable are very accessible for both of these monitors. I don't have to go around the back hunting for things or anything like that. I've always got various different Pi related things on my desk. These two storage devices, because they're super fast, have been really, really good. They're both, both made by Orica. I've got videos on them and uh, yeah, I really trust them. The Motion iOS camera software is in here. So if I ever need to set up a camera, I can, and it's immediately available on my network. There's another Pi Zero 2W for various different testing. I'm always using this Xbox 360 controller. And the reason I do that is because the USB adapter plugs in and there's no pairing involved. So uh, I just switch it on and uh, it's automatically connected and it pretty much is com compatible with everything I've tried. So it's just a very standard control. I did have one that went wrong, um, but it was under the year and Amazon replaced it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just really, really super handy. Uh, this screwdriver is always out on my desk for various different things, taking things apart. Um, it's, it's very handy as a kit. I bought it a while ago from Amazon and uh, yeah, it really comes in handy and also taking things apart with this as well. And there's uh, a load of other bits in the other side and a SIM ejector for different mobile phones that I'm testing as well. I would use the uh, M.2 drive or NVMe uh, variants that I've got in my Pi, but I really just think that SSD is fast enough for the Pi. It doesn't make much difference because we're still having to use a USB 3 option. Uh, now, it will be interesting soon that I'll have the orange Pi and I can try out what the operating system would be like on an NVMe drive which I've got in here. This is a 256 drive that I've had for other videos. So yeah, really looking forward to trying that. And Orico is sending me a, a storage device for that M.2 drive. So uh, I'll be able to put it in that and I don't think I need to use my little 3D printed adapter for it. My Pi Moroni fan shims in there like, if, I, if I need it. There's all sorts of things in here. And I have loads of other cables, drives, and various different things dotted around and uh, different cluster cases and, and rack mounted cases and things like that that I, I really need to get around to sorting through everything. Because I use the Logitech keyboard, there's always enough space to be able to put that out of the way. Uh, and if I'm working on a laptop or anything else, then there's just about enough room on the desk. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.